as you know, we announced recently on Northstar our desire to have more audio and video communication with you. As our organization continues to grow and expand, we believe these types of communication are increasingly important in keeping you connected. Today, Lee and I will be discussing some organizational changes taking place very soon. I'm going to ask him some questions that I think would be important to you. And in the future, we hope to open these sessions up to take actual questions submitted from you in advance. Lee, thank you for being here today. We've got some changes taking place with the organizational structure of our credit union. Can you tell us about those and why you felt it was important to make them now? Um, the credit union is uh, growing dramatically. Um, over the last few years, we've had several mergers. Uh, we have a merger that's taken place at the end of February. And those give us one, a lot of stress, but a lot of opportunity. Um, so, you know, we look at the organization, look at weaknesses and where we need to um, be prepared for growth, and that's why now we're making these changes. So what are some of the most notable changes that are going to be taking place? Um, mostly it's going to be, you know, it's not going to affect everyone. Um, we have a chief cultural officer, and that individual is going to oversee marketing, going to oversee uh, training and HR. And that will allow um, the credit union to you know, take our brand, take our culture, and put it into throughout our organization now, our new employees, and also any institution that we're merging. Uh, next, you have a chief operation officer. That is not a new position, but that position has been vacant for about a year and a half. And that position will oversee IT, will oversee facilities and security, oversee all the branches and the contact center. The VP uh, or, or C, Chief Financial Officer, positions change slightly and they will oversee a VP of Risk Management and a controller for accounting. Um, the VP of Risk Management will oversee uh, the compliance and collection department. So we have a lot of small changes taking place, but they're very important for the organization. So it sounds like, by and large, the uh, most employees will not have any changes to their day-to-day -day operations. Not the day-to-day, -day, but what they should see the organization operate more efficiently, f should see that as we continue to grow that we are able to take on more duties and the organization can continue to grow. So what uh, should our employees expect for the year ahead because of these changes? Well, with the I know the chief uh, cultural officer is going to be in uh, uh, doing a lot of reviews. Uh, the chief operations officer is going to be uh, looking at her area. And even the CFO, they're going to have to look at their area. And so you're going to see a lot of give and take until these changes are done. But we are doing the merger in February, and that's going to grow this organization significantly. Um, will this organizational chart be available for our staff to see on Northstar? Yes, it will. Good. I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to view this video today. As we said, all of these organizational changes will be on Northstar for you to review in the future. Thank you.